Welcome back, friends. Today, I want to show you some test images I shot past few days using the newly released Lycon Z 24 to 120 f4 lens. And this time, all these images are, are city life or urban life. The first one is the back of the shopping center, and this one is uh, shot was shot through a window, so you don't have super clear image because there's a window in between. But I really like this kind of highlights. I mean, sunlight casted shadows on the wall or anything. I'm deeply influenced by Edward Hopper's shadows. Again, shadows. I shoot a lot of shadows. It shows you the loneliness of a shopping center or urban life or whatever, the modern life. This is a parking garage, the entrance of parking garage. Silence has all the eloquence. A quarter of a library. Sunset on the patio. It's a eerie kind of look. Again, this one is shot through a, was shot through a, a window. Really like reflections, particularly reflections with shadows. And this one is abandoned factory building. A little close up on the street art or stickers of street art. A restaurant entrance, a sign or blackboard. Now some telephoto people shots. I normally don't shoot people in telephoto range, but this is simply for lens testing. I put the lens, I mean, I put the camera Z62 in DX mode, the crop mode. It gives me a 1.5 a factor times my whatever the focal range or focal length I select. This one at 120, that becomes 185 on the DX sensor. Wide open, F4 or F5, 6 around that neighborhood. People in the shadows. I picked the ones without uh, wearing uh, masks because otherwise they lose all the purpose, right? I really like this kind of shadow and highlight contrast. You see a little face over here, and the hero is here. All right, this is a great lens for walk around. If you just do city walk around or national park walk around, this is a fabulous lens. However, this is not a lens for hiking. If I do a long distance hike, a few hundred miles, a few thousand miles, probably I, I won't be able to carry this lens or even carry Nikon Z6 II. Maybe something smaller. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.